dear students today we are going to solve some of the questions of exercise 6.9 of chapter 6 question number 9 10 and 11 question is divide and check your answer it is two step question first we have to divide the numbers that are given and then we have to check them also okay so question number 9 is 1459 divided by 7 let us divide first digit is 1 because 1 is less than 7 so we need one more digit that is 40 7 2s are 40 14 minus 40 equal to 0 next digit is 5 5 is less than 7 so next digit is 9 if we are writing two digits together then in answer zero will be there so we are putting here 0 next the number is 59 59 is not in the table of 7 so 7 eight is a 50 Subtract nine minus six equal to three. Five minus five equal to zero. Okay. So the quotient we got is two hundred and eight, and the remainder which is left is three. Okay. Now second step is to check our answer. For checking. The formula is quotient into divisor plus remainder. Okay, let us put the values. Quotient we got is two hundred eight into divisor is seven plus remainder is three. Okay, now first we have to multiply this. 208 into 7 okay 208 into 7 is 1456 plus 3 remainder add them when we add 3 to it we will get 1459 Okay. Now just observe this two or match this answer to the dividend. One four five nine. One four five nine. Are they equal or same? Yes. That means we are getting dividend here. Okay. So this is the check that we have done. Okay. Now next question is the tenth one. Question number ten. Question number ten is five thousand three hundred forty-two. Question number ten. Five thousand three hundred forty-two divided by eight. It's also the same. First we have to divide the numbers and then we have to check them. Okay. Let us divide. Five thousand three hundred forty-two divided by eight. Okay, five is less than eight. We are taking two digits here. That is fifty-three. Okay, fifty-three is not in the table of eight. Now we need the number which is less than fifty-three. Eight sixes are forty-eight. Now subtract three minus eight. Not possible. Three is less than eight, so we borrow one, then it becomes four. Thirteen minus eight equal to five. Four minus four equal to zero. Next number is four. The number is fifty-four. Again, 
54 is not in the table of 8. So, we need the number which is less than 54. That is 86 is a 48. Okay. Now here 4 minus 8. 4 is less than 8. So, borrow 1 from the real digit. It becomes 4. 14 minus 8 equal to 6. 4 minus 4 equal to 0. Okay. Now, next digit is 62. 62 is not in the table of 8. Now, here also we need the number which is less than 62. 8. 7 is a 56. 12 minus 6 equal to 6. 5 minus 5 equal to 0. Okay. So the question we got is 667 and remainder is 6. Now we have to check formula is quotient into divisor plus remainder. Let us put the values. Quotient is 667 multiplied by divisor. Divisor is 8 here. 8 plus remainder is 6. Okay. Now, just to multiply this 667 by 8, in place of remainder, you have to put 6 here. Okay? Now, just to multiply these two, 667 by 8, when we multiply, we will get 5336. Okay? Plus remainder is 6. Add the 6 to it. 5342. When we add 6 to it, we are getting 5342. Just to match this answer with the dividend, are they same? 5342, 5342. That means we are getting dividend. Okay. Now next, 11th question is question number 11. Here also we have to divide and check the answer. Question number 11 is 5674 divided by 4. Okay. First we have to divide. Let us divide. 5, 6, 7, 4 by 4. 4 ones are 4. 5 minus 4 equal to 1. Next digit is 6. Then 4 fours are 16. 16 minus 16 is 0. Next digit is 7. 4 ones are 4. 7 minus 4 equal to 3. Next digit is 4. That is 34. Now 34 is not in the table of 4. Now 4, 8 is a 32. 4 minus 2 equal to 2. 3 minus 3 equal to 0. Okay. So the question we got is 1418 and remainder is 2. Okay. Let us check. Quotient into divisor plus remainder. Okay. 
let us put the values quotient 1418 into divisor is 4 plus remainder is 2 let us multiply this one we will get 5672 On multiplying these two plus remainder two, now we are getting five thousand six hundred seventy-four. On adding remainder, just observe this answer to the dividend. Are they same? Yes. That means we are getting dividend. Okay. So. Three questions we have done. Question number nine, ten, and eleven of exercise six point nine. I hope you all understood. Okay, thank you.